It's Monday, June 5th and 6th, and the sun is in Gemini and the moon is in Capricorn. I kind of like this story. So remember I said you're going to wake up after that full moon and want to ground Monday and Tuesday? As soon as the moon's in Capricorn, I notice that I check things off my list. So I want to say that to you. If you're paying attention to these videos, when the moon enters Capricorn, you say to yourself, I've got work to do and I'm going to clear the table because Gemini Capricorn are detached. This combination is not concerned about what other people feel. They're not captured by the emotional, by eh, eh, no, none of that. There'll be no whining. So if you have to call yourself out on Monday and Tuesday when you wake up, this is the time to do it. And because there was that T-square, which had Mars opposite Pluto in Aquarius with Jupiter in Taurus squaring it, the whole release in the sky is Scorpio. So what does that mean? It means that if the moon's in Capricorn and you're thinking Scorpio, you are really goal-oriented. You're a grown-up. You know, people say these things about being a grown-up. Geminis are supposed to never grow up. That's one of their personality traits. They're always young and playful. When you've got moon in Capricorn, you're like, look, if we're going to fulfill our promise, this is what Capricorn at an esoteric level talks about. What am I doing here? That's all Capricorn wants to question. And Gemini's like, yeah, what are we doing here? So feeling not distracted, which is unfamiliar to a Gemini, only happens when the moon's in Capricorn and the release of the T-square is Scorpio saying out loud, focus, Danielson, focus. And what does that mean? It's such an honest truth. You know if you're scattered. You know if you're prone to getting lost in social media or scrolling through those things or getting yourself lost. I wonder what people do all day. I always want to sneak in their house and be Casper the ghost and sneak around people and go, what do you do when no one's looking? If the moon's in Capricorn and you're being really honest, you're going to say to yourself, you know what? I need a list. I've got to get clear of my goals. The moon's in Capricorn. I'm solid. I'm taking care of things, practical things, cleaning, organizing, but most of all, this is a moment with that T-square releasing in Scorpio. There's not much water in the sky, but Saturn is in Pisces saying to us, be emotionally honest. That's going to keep you from distracting yourself. If you can just call yourself out. I would love to be able to have a little governor that lived in your house who watched you and was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you imagine if you had a conscience that had your best interest in mind and was trying to keep you really refined as a Capricorn would want and it was asking you to do clean, eat well, organize, <laughs> pretend it's there today. In the name of astrology answers and me, I want to say to you, the moon's in Capricorn, answer to yourself and be honest.